today I'm going to be doing a haul of everything that I bought when I went on holiday. If you've been following my YouTube channel, you'll probably know that I went away um, at the end of October um, to about the middle of November. We went to Miami for three nights and then we drove up to Orlando and was there for the rest of the time. Had such a great holiday and I'd saved my money up for ages before we went um, so I was like, I have enough money to buy things because I thought, oh my god, all the makeup out there, all the clothes, everything. I ended up buying a lot of makeup and beauty products but clothes, all I bought was a coat and a top and that was it for clothes. I could not believe it. I thought I was going to buy a lot more. Um, oh, and a pyjama hoodie, but that doesn't really count. So yeah, I thought I would show you everything I got in the haul. So I'm going to get into the first thing. So for the longest time, I've been wanting to try a gel eyeliner. When it comes to mind, you think, oh yeah, Bobbi Brown. She's kind of like, to me, the creator of gel eyeliners. So I got this one in black ink by Bobbi Brown. As you can see, I've used quite a bit, but I've used this so many times um, that I feel like it's going to last me forever. Um, I actually got this in a little set. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's a Glam Eyes set. It came with a metallic um, longwear shadow in Mercury. This is a kind of gunmetal grey silver colour. Really nice and shimmery. Um, it comes with that. It also comes with this little cleansing oil, um, which I'd wanted to try and make up remove it in the form of an oil for forever. So it was just a kind of a bonus that it comes with this one. This one's amazing. It removes your makeup. Just so, so good. And it comes with a double ended brush. Um, this end here is to use with the eyeliner, and this end here is to use with the. Um, shadow and I do think that it's very important that you do use this because I find um, if you just use your finger it doesn't apply as solidly this definitely helps it come out um, stronger on your eyes you see the colour more so we went to Target and I bought a couple of things from e.l.f. because you can't get it in the UK but you've got all on the website which is a bit of hassle there it was great it's just all there it's like one dollar each so I got two brushes a eyeshadow brush and then this one concealer but I'm thinking I'm actually going to use this for kind of like on my inner corner um, rather concealer because I just apply concealer with my hand um, or I'll use it as a concealer brush one of them so I've got these two brushes and then I also got um, this little eyeshadow quad um, in butternut which is really nice neutral colours kind of a bit of everything to create the perfect neutral eye um, and then I also got two lip glosses from e.l.f. Um, I got berry cherry and this one which is bubble gum I thought I would like this one more but I actually love this one these are just like one dollar each so affordable I wish I would have bought more um, it's really nice um, they last quite a long time too on your lips so that's good got a eyeshadow from NARS because um, I love NARS but they are expensive kind of the most expensive I think of makeup brands I buy but I got um, a night star shadow it's probably the most beautiful eye colour I've ever seen. It's just this power colour and that shimmer in it. Oh my god. I wish it come out a little bit more like that on the eye. It does lose a bit of the shimmer. The shimmer's a bit more sparse on the eye. But still. Like if you put it on properly you can get that shimmer on there. And it's so nice. It was expensive. It's tiny. But to me it's worth it. So I love that. I didn't have any NARS eyeshadows for now. But love it so much. I went to Walgreens and I got this lip balm, which is my new favourite lip balm. Um, it's the Sally Hansen Vitamin 1. This is Vitamin B. doesn't come out pink, comes out sheer. Um, it's the cutest packaging ever. Truly, moisturiser is better than any other lip balm I've ever tried out. And I just love the packaging. It's kind of like nice and chunky and love it. Um, I got some things in Bobbi Brown um, 2 that wasn't in the set. Um, got these and among some of the things I've shown, they was from CCOs as well, um, cosmetic company outlets. This is where companies such as like Clinique, Estee Lauder, um, MAC, Bobby Brown, when they're not being sold in shops anymore, they get sent there and they're discounted. Um, so I got a lip gloss in Tangerine. I absolutely love this. Um, it comes out just perfectly. I'd wanted an orange lip gloss forever and... Um, I had been to the shop and then I had left and then went to eat in the food court and I was like, do I have time to run back? I really want to just find an orange one and I knew I hadn't seen one but I just thought I'm going to go to Bobby Brown and see the first orange one I see and got it and I just absolutely love it. I've been wearing it so much. It comes up just like that. It reminds me of a bit, I imagine that Benefit's Cha Cha Tint would be a little bit like this. Um, and I love that Bobbi Brown lip glosses, they've all switched over now to having the Dover applicator, which is this one, like the sponge one. Rather than brushes, I just find them easier to use. Um, I also got a Bobbi Brown lip gloss in crystal. This packaging is amazing too. Um, I just needed a new clear lip gloss and I feel like that's one of the lip gloss colours that I want to buy from high end. You think, oh, clear lip gloss, you can get it from anywhere, but I do feel like the high end ones in clear 
are just a lot shinier and um, kind of like more rich in shine. There's a little bit of gloopy texture, but I think maybe it's just because it's from a CCI. I don't know. Maybe it's just like it anyway, but if you put it on, you know, not any more than you need, then the gloopiness isn't there so much. I got from the CCO a lip liner. I'd wanted a lip liner for ages to kind of do the little tricks to make your lips look more full. So I got this one from MAC. There's a lid. Um, it's in Deverish. There's a colour. It's kind of my lips, but one or two shades darker. I've been using it so much, um, it's just perfect for, you just put it on alone with a gloss, with a lipstick, anything. It just makes your lips look a bit more full and a bit better, just more neat I guess. So I really like it, I recommend everyone buys a lip gloss that's a few shades darker than their own lips. Definitely helps you emphasise them. Um, also from the CCO I got a MAC Paint Pot in um, Dangerous Curve and it is this colour. It was from the Champau collection, which they released last January. I wasn't bothered on it at the time, but I saw it and I thought, so pretty. It's just kind of blue, purple, silvery. Like, it's just kind of nice. So I thought that would be great to put under eyeshadow, especially if we're going out kind of in winter time. Um, and then I got this one from the MAC Glitter Nice Christmas collection. So obviously this wasn't from a CCI. Um, it's a paint pot in Let's Skate. It's pale pink with kind of gold reflex in it. I was so happy when I saw that they had brought a pale pink out in a paint pot because that was the one colour I was just wanting MAC to do so much. Um, I know they've done it in the past, but since I've been really into MAC, they haven't. And um, and so I saw this and I was like, this is amazing. And I love the packaging as well, that it's white and the box is silver because, I mean, I love MAC packaging. It's like nice being like black and everything, but it was just fun that they've got, you know, a new kind of um, one just for Christmas. So that was nice. I forgot to mention with the stuff from e.l.f. that I also got this waterproof um, eyeliner. It was $1, amazing. It's $1.50 over here. Um, this is really precise, really black. It's really precise, really pigmented, just amazing. It's replaced my bourgeois um, that I used to use, just I guess because of the price and it doesn't like quality. It's the same quality as bourgeois and so much cheaper, so definitely try this out. I also from Target got some of the Conair curlers because I had wanted these so long, they're so affordable. Um, but I can't use it yet because I don't have a plug adapter. I need to go buy one. Um, and this is the, uh, what is it, one one and a quarter inch curling iron. So excited to be able to use it. I also got heat protection because I think they might sell this in England but I've never really seen it, I'm not sure. But it's the Tresme one just because so many people talked about it on YouTube before. Need a heat protection, that one looks good. Um, and also I tried out um, the Joyco K-Pack um, like Reconstructor. I heard Flair de Falls talk about this so much and um, I saw this little miniature in beauty shops so I was like, oh my god get that. I then went to Charlotte Russe and I got some bracelets. They're so affordable. So I got about four. Um, this one was like, say this one for example, $4.50. That's like £2.17 England. So this one is Pow Pink um, with Diamantes in it. Really pretty. Um, I got this one which is turquoise with silver beads. I just thought it was really nice. Um, especially for summery. It just reminded me of H&M a little bit. Um, sort of things they do. Um, got this one which reminded me of the Trevor Paris bracelets that everyone's kind of getting right now. I love them. I just love it because it's got all the clear beads here and then one silver one. Obviously the Trevor Paris ones are all like this. Um, just ties, just really nice. And then I got this one, it was $2.50. Um, it's dark purple. There you go. Dark purple and then it's got three diamante leaves in the middle which I thought was so cute. I just love it and I love how simple it is and everything and how cheap it was um, and I also got one of these but it's kind of used now these are the little wish bracelets that they sold in there you could get all different ones like love, friendship, luck or something like that um, and basically it has a little heart on it and you just wear it until the heart falls off and you don't know where it goes and then when it falls off your wish comes true or something because you tie it when you put it on, you tie three knots. As each knot ties, you make a wish, you make three wishes, and then it's kind of, it says that when the little heart falls off, that's when your wishes are gonna start coming true. So that was nice, I just pulled it. It's by the teal, it's really nice. I've got three more nail varnishes to show. First two um, are from Wet n Wild, and they're the color icon ones, um, like this. The packaging is really cute, reminds me of Chanel a little bit um and this one is give me a price quote it's a, kind of a gold lime green it's more lime green in real life so a little bit different to what i'd normally choose but they were so cheap i think like two dollars that i was like well i'll just try it out and this one is diamond in the rough it's, i'm so excited to try out it's just 
Like it's got all these glitters in it and grey, silver, like pewter coloured glitters. It's just so nice. Um, and then the last thing, my whole haul, um, it's an OPI one. It's Warm and Fuzzy um, from the Christmas collection. Warm and Fuzzy is just this nice um, bronze colour with a little bit of red shimmer in it, a little bit of gold shimmer. It's really nice. I did want Designer Do Better. It's a silvery one. They didn't have it. So I got that because I liked it just as much. So yeah, that is everything that I got from America. I think it's pretty much everything. Oh, um, I just got these little pair of earrings. I don't know which shop those from. There's just like a little accessory store I saw. Um, it's not the only thing I bought in Miami. There was a couple of dollars. And they're basically just two little hearts, nice and simple, and I've been wearing them, like, so much. So, yeah, that is my haul. I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!